Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John Diard. Welcome to Lifespa.com and today I want to talk about how we can get calm and cope with stress in just one minute. You know, I've been using this technique, I call it the one minute meditation, for decades and decades with my patients to completely reset them from an experience of stress, a daily routine full of stress, and it's a hugely important breathing and meditation practice and it just takes a minute. So. If you want to learn more about this, go to my website at lifespot.com, watch the video, uh, learn more about the research uh, that I'm going to talk about here just real quick. Uh, while you're there at lifespot.com, check out our Ayurvedic store, all, our, 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 all of our organic Ayurvedic products, and, uh, you know, and sign up for our newsletter so you get all of our ancient wisdom, modern science research on a weekly basis. All right, so talk about the one-minute meditation, right? Um, it's used as a breathing technique called Bastrika. Bastrika is the bellows breath. It's the big breath in and out, in, out. So that's the Bastrika breath. It's like a big bellow sucking as much air through your nose in and as much air out through your nose. And we'll do that together here just in a minute. We do 30 seconds of Bastrika with 30 seconds of just being still. And I want to talk real quick about the science behind this. It's just kind of amazing, the science. First of all, Bostrika has been shown to outperform um, uh, running on certain lung function tests. So it's been shown in many studies to be just as good as aerobic exercise, which is kind of really cool and a, a, an amazing benefit. It's an excitatory breathing technique, but it's followed by a lasting and deep experience of composure and calm. It's been shown to lower blood pressure, heart rate. It's been shown to increase our reaction time. So like for sports, but also for cognitive function. It's been also shown in the studies to reduce distraction. So if you're like trying to multitask and different things, this can be a great reset. In your office, you're feeling a little bit stressed out, take a minute, close your door, do this breathing technique, do a quick reset. Before you come home and go into the house after work, you're feeling all stressed out, like you just really need a, you know, like a reboot, stop in the garage and do this breathing technique before you go in the house and get yourself composed and calm. It's an amazing one minute kind of reset technique. And it's also been shown, which is really neat, to produce gamma wave activity. Gamma waves are brain wave patterns that are generally on the faster side, but they're linked to spiritual and, and cognitive um, and uh, expanded consciousness, spirituality, altruism, the feeling to be able to give and care for others even before yourself. It's, a, it's, the, uh, it's the brainwave pattern of love and higher states of consciousness, which is kind of really cool. Gamma wave activity is also shown in mouse studies. So if you give gamma wave activity to break, out the pla break up the plaque in the brain and increase cognitive function. So doing this breathing technique has so many benefits and to have it, to use it when you feel yourself losing that inner experience of composure and calm and that feeling of peace inside is just a really cool breathing technique and a really cool thing to have in your toolbox that you can use five, ten times a day even, or at least once or twice a day as needed. Um, so here we go. Really simple. We're going to do 30 seconds of this breathing technique together. Uh, and then we're going to be sit still for 30 seconds and I'll let you go and uh, enjoy the ride. It's a beautiful, calming, resetting experience. So breathing through your nose, sometimes a tissue is handy to have, but it's through the nose, deeply in, deeply out. If you feel dizzy, stop. If you're lightheaded, stop. Um, you, the, the amount of effort you put into this, sometimes in the beginning can make you feel a little lightheaded. So maybe not put as much effort in the beginning, but over time, I promise you this, you will be able to tolerate this breathing technique effortlessly. It's just because we're not used to moving this much prana into our brain, and that changes the game. Um, so here we go. Uh, remember, all pranayama techniques are only with comfort. Never do anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. And if you have any concerns, health concerns, check with your doctor before you do any breathing techniques just to make sure that you're, you're not in harm's way. But the comfort is the golden rule. Just don't push yourself. So here we are. Here we go. Breathing in. Um,
So I'm picking up the pace a little bit here. Couple more. And be perfectly still. And now slowly open up your eyes, look around. You might feel like your perception is a little bit different. You feel a little bit more composure and calm. You feel a little bit more still. If you feel like you still need a little more time, you can do another round of the Bastrika and then close your eyes again. You can stay in the, in the meditation with your eyes closed longer if you like. But a quick reset is 30 seconds of Bastrika and 30 seconds of sitting still with your eyes closed. All right, thanks for listening. Please check out the article with all the science uh, uh, about this breathing technique in this one-minute meditation at lifespa.com. Thanks for listening. See you all next week.